what is going on YouTube welcome to another video in my Java series for beginners now today we're gonna to be talking about abstract and concrete classes now what is an abstract class and what is a concrete class now we're gonna talk about the easier one first what do we talk about a concrete class a concrete class is basically this okay all the classes we've been um, creating so far far are considered concrete because um, we don't have the abstract keyword in there so um, there is no keyword special keyword for concrete classes but these are just um, the name we call classes that are not abstract okay so all these classes are concrete classes and essentially concrete classes are classes you can create an instance of now what do I mean by that so if you go back here boy Tom equals new boy so if we can do this, um, boy, um, yellow, okay. If we can do this, when we can instantiate a class like this, that is what it means by um, concrete. So this boy is a concrete class. Now the next thing I want to talk about is abstract classes. Now what is an abstract class? Now this is very important. Um, an abstract class is a class that we have an abstract keyword right here. So if you add the keyword abstract, this class becomes abstract. Now, that's obvious, but what makes it abstract? Now, all this keyword does is makes it so that a class is not instantiable. And instantiable. Instantiable. Okay. What do I mean by that? Now, why don't we go ahead and do the same thing for human. Human. Um, human equals new human now what's going on here it's gonna give us an error and it's gonna say human is abstract cannot be instantiated now that is what I was trying to tell you earlier when we make a class abstract essentially we cannot um, create an instance of it and when we make a class abstract usually we just inherit that class and all of its properties now why would we need this abstract keyword or why would we bother making classes abstract now that is a great question and that is because um, there is absolutely no reason for a human class to be concrete now think about that for a second um, th is there such thing as a human what makes it like can you can you describe well not describe I'm sorry can you there's no such thing as um, you can't say oh he's a human I mean you could but <laughs> you can't create an instantiation of a human because it's it's just like saying well let's let's switch to another example okay we can't when we when we say an animal can we create a generic animal no there's no such thing as a generic animal in the same same case there's no such thing as a generic human um, you can you are either a boy or a girl you're either a man or a female or older person or a younger person there is no human okay um, <laughs> um, I know this might sound really confusing but that's what it is and well let me go back to the animal example here we cannot create an instance we should shouldn't be able to create an instance of an animal um, we should definitely make it abstract because an animal think about it there is no such thing as a generic animal what is a generic animal well does it have claws does it have wings does it swim does it live on land we can't define it these are properties that can be defined a, an animal is something that can be defined only when you subclass it when you call it perhaps a dog a a cat a a whale then you could instantiate it because that those things make sense those are objects that are actually um, real you know that have structure to it it's not just an idea so abstractions are essentially just ideas of things so what is a human what makes a human human okay um, we have eyes nose ears that's common to all humans but you know you can't just say that because this guy is human you can't instantiate an instance of human okay a human is essentially just ideas of what makes a boy a person or a girl a a human I'm sorry I should have used the word human uh, be consistent there is basically what makes a boy human and what makes a girl human okay I hope I didn't confuse you with that um, think about this logically um, with the animal and human example um, 
you know, try to think up, come up with examples of your own, and leave them in the comment section below because I hope I didn't confuse you guys because this might be an, um, a confusing topic. But essentially, the takeaway from from this lesson is um, when you make a class ab abstract, you can't inst you cannot instantiate it, and the reason being is abstractions abstract classes are classes that are meant to be only inherited so classes that do not make sense to be instantiated okay um, that is all I have to say about abstracts abstract classes and concrete classes I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that thumbs up button comment and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video bye bye